who's ready to hunt for some Exodia. So, I just ordered my case of dueling uh, tins mirrors. And, while I was out and about, went to two different card shops. Went to one, picked up a box of Blue Eyes, and the rest of the box of Legacy of Destruction. Went to another card shop, ordered a case of dueling uh, tin mirrors, dueling mirror tins, and then I also went to GameStop. And, uh, well, we'll probably be opening this around Halloween. And they didn't have any Yu-Gi-Oh! So I picked up a couple of blisters along with those Halloween packs. And because I spent over $15, they gave me a promo. Oh, it even says GameStop on it. Nice. Promo pack. There might have been more than one card in there. But today, today, guys, we are hunting for Exodia. Blue Eyes, Monster Reborn, Dark Magician, and Red Eyes, you know, the big ones. And you, and you read it right, $99. You see that price tag right there? That's what I'm getting them for. But hopefully, we can get a QCR first. Zoma? And Dandy White Lion. Figured, well, I'm waiting to pick up my tins. It should be this Thursday. Uh, why not do a little Legend of Blue Eyes opening? One of my favorite sets. Hello, Magnificent. I was around for the OG first uh, edition release of Legend of Blue Eyes, and man, I'll tell you what, it was a magical time. One dragon. Mm -hmm. Oh. And right. Two battle guard echoes. I'm gonna be so mad if somebody like mapped this box and took out all of the uh, high rarity cards. But hey, you know that's what happens when you buy into an open box. You know, it's a crapshoot. I mean, last time I went and bought from there, I literally got both the secrets and I think one or two of the ultras. So, you know, stand to reason. Can't win every time. And with only six packs left, like, who knows what's left. Let's say hope and a wish, right? These cards feel like slick. Oh, okay. Well, we at least got one ultra out of the mix. Avoid Burial. Boy burial? Yeah, whatever. Come on, QCR. Moonfang? It's actually probably how I'm opening these packs for this. They're, those first cards are getting bent. But at least... Oh, okay. Mirage Mirror Force. At least it's not the foils. We can live with that. But now that that's out of the way... Dun, da, da, da. We 
Which out of the uh, original sets is your favorite? Actually, my all-time favorite is Pharaoh's Servant. That's when I was going wild at Locals, man. They gave me Ceasefire, Jinzo, but this is not. This is not a Pharaoh Servant opening. No, no, no. This is a Legend of Blue Eyes 25th reprint. Let's see what we can get today. I've had a lot of fun opening up the retro pack. Not so much the Light of Destruction. Rarity 2. You know, this year has just been a great and fun time for, you know, somebody like me, a returning collector, to really enjoy getting back into, getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh. I have been having a fantastic time. Well, I've been hearing a lot of people going, oh no, I'm quitting. Oh, more for me to collect. That's fine. Yummy. Armed Ninja and... Nada. Now, I'm sure they didn't include QCRs in the original sets like uh, Blue Eyes Spell Ruler and all of that because they're probably going to be doing all of those in the Bonanza is what I'm guessing at the end of this year. So I am ready. They at least gave us the rest of Exodia's appendages in um... Oh god, what was it? Oh, the Dueling Mirror Stint's coming out. Hopefully, I get all of his... I'm not betting on it. But I'm really hoping I get all of his um, arms and legs in one case. Uh, okay, we got a nice little Carbonell Warrior. Because I have like three of the QCR heads and I was wondering I was like there's no way in hell I mean well yes there is with all of the different heads of Exodias that are just floating out there with no other limbs hey there's one right there this is one of the ones I'm looking for I mean of course I want to complete the master set of, uh, of the reprint for LOB but Definitely all of the big foils. Y'all don't understand. Back in the day, uh, there was a magazine called Wizards. Wizard Magazine. And uh, they had like a classifieds in the back. And I remember seeing first edition sets of Legend of Blue Eyes, first ed sets, full master sets, being sold for $100. Oh man. If only, right? Goblet Secret Remedy. And uh, the case that I'm buying from Multiverse Hobbies right behind my house. Uh, is going to be going for a case battle with um, part of the pack. And homie, if you're watching, get ready. I should have my case on Thursday, which should be the day after this video uh, comes out. Two pronged attack and dark hole hell yes. Beautiful. Uh, so far, three of my favorite cards. We got Monster Reborn, Swords, and Dark Hole. But like I said, man, we got a case coming. Uh, I'll get a hold of you about that. If you want to do half the case, if you want to do a full case battle, we will 
hammer that out over oh right already sent you a message on instagram grave digger ghoul so hopefully i get the case on thursday have the video recorded edited and uploaded for sunday man i can't wait the rest of exodia's limbs uh the altar um feather duster uh was the dark magician girl also aquamador nice all of the all, all of the alt arts you know of course everybody's looking for sp little knight there's a couple of upgrades in there i think there's a sanctifier dragon prismatic of course the tokens gotta have the tokens all right spirit of the harp and beaver warrior Womp. all right we got one ultra two supers out of one side so far is this where we get our secret do we get one secret out of the side oh oh yes actually right behind the dragon capture jar is the one and only trihorn dragon beautiful mm -mm -mm. okay bad we we'll take that we we'll take that so i think it's gaia the other one of the other secrets <laughs> metal dragon and wiregrass all right so one secret two supers no one ultra on each side do we get two secrets? I, I don't remember with this this 21st uh, reprint box. I think this actually might be the first uh, LOB 25th reprint box I've opened so far on the channel. And if you haven't yet, remember, like, subscribe. Uh, we also have a TCG, channel, a TCG player uh, shop. If you want to help support the stream all right all right we have the beautiful flame swordsman for the super on the left side like i said if you want to support the channel check out the tcg player shop we've also started selling live on whatnot uh that's usually going to be tuesdays maybe wednesdays check it out hang out have fun watch some beautiful shiny cardboard Purchase anything that you are interested in, honey, honey, or hain hain. But yeah, we're just growing, having fun, on our way to 250 subscribers. And uh, we definitely have some fun stuff planned for the 250 mark. Machine conversion. Final Flame and uh, Metabat. I was in Shiv uh, Savannah Chess's uh, whatnot earlier. Bought a, the equivalent of a 10 off of him. I think I got a scapegoat QCR. And, oh crap, I forgot the other one. Uh, the other two. Uh, Pinkertops. And I forgot the third. So I have three of the 50 uh, QCRs in this set so far on their way. Terror the Terrible. Uh, one of the guys that had purchased a case had just insane luck it was absolutely disgusting flower wolf uh oh hey we're just gonna keep it coming huh 
All right, Monster Reborn, Dark Magician, Dark Hole, Swords of Revealing Light. Okay, not bad. We take those, we take those. Not any of the uh, Exodia limbs, but hey, not mad about it. Not mad about it at all. We're always, we're always glad to see your boy, Dark Magician. But uh, I think you got an SP Little Knight, a Dark Magician girl, Blue Eyes, something else that was absolutely ridiculous. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, pretty stoked to get my, my case in. Dark Fire Dragon. Nah. Alright, probably got another comment or two before we get our next super. Mystical sheep. Giant soldier of stone and... There it is. Man eater bug. Alright. So we got... At least one more super left. And one secret. Enchanting Mermaid. Charubin the Fire Knight. And I also have a at least I have one box of Rage of the Abyss pre-ordered. Um, next week I'll go back to Multiverse Hobbies and order another box. Because the first one I ordered was off of TCG Player for their um, uh, cashback program. Akumador. Nada. And the last... And the last three packs were upside down, apparently. So, we know statistically that doesn't mean fuck all, but hey, who knows? If we can get, get an error box. Ah, oh, and that pack just opened like butter, too. Skull Servant, Dissolver Rock, Vile Germs, Beast Fangs, Reaper of the Cards. Nothing. Alright, we got... Do we only get one secret per box? Hold on. Remove trap. Larvis. Mermail. The Totsume Giant. Stop defense. And... Spike Seedra. Okay, okay. Do we only get one secret? Oh. <gasps> Or is it the fabled last pack magic? We'll see. You know what? Smack it a little bit. Yummy. Terra. Taihong. Laser cannon armor. Goblin secret remedy. And absolutely nothing. Bollocks. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we only get one secret, two ultras, and four supers. But you know, Trihorn is a beautiful secret to get. I will say that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Always welcome additions. I mean, outside of Flame Swordsman, basically staples in every every deck that I had at the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the hunt for Exodia will continue. And uh, next time I see you guys, hopefully we'll be for a battle with the Dueling Mirrors Tents. And I'll see you in the next one.
Later.